Hello, welcome to Playground World. I'm Todd Music, and today we're going to be talking about basketball hoops. But before we dive in, into basketball hoops, there's a couple things you always have to know. Playground World, we are a family owned business. We've been doing this for over 30 years, customer twice myself. Uh, my place at my basketball hoop nearly 20 years ago. Uh, we have seven locations Toledo, Warrensville, our superstore where we're standing today. Avon, Medina, Canfield, Youngstown, and east-west of Pittsburgh. So you're always welcome to come in and visit and see and test, dunk, anything you want. So we dive into basketball hoops today. The first thing we do is talk about the two brands we carry. We carry Gorilla and Goal Setter, the two premium band, brands in the residential hoop industry. So one of the most common questions I get is, what's the difference between Goal Setter and Gorilla? Well, number one is, what's, what, are they, what are they alike? What are the similarities versus the differences? And the similarities is the warranty. Pretty much say if it's metallic, black, or glass, it has a lifetime warranty as long as you own the basketball hoop. Number two, the differences. Um, where they're made. Uh, Gorilla started in Indiana, now made overseas. Still a really, really nice hoop. And Goal Center made in Iowa, USA. Next variable really is adjustability. How low they go. They will all go up the regulation. They're all single piece poles. They all have, and we'll show you in a second, standard college breakaway rims. But as far as adjustability, we're going to walk over here to the goal center display just because it's a little bit of an easier visual. So any gorilla, any shape style version of a gorilla, a GS series, a CV series, 72, 60, or 54 inch backboard, they'll all go to regulation as far as how low they go. They will come down to seven and a half feet. I'm 5'10". So basically about the top of my middle finger is seven and a half feet on all gorillas. Goal Center has two styles of hoops. One's called the Extreme Series. It's gonna be a straight pole, piston on the outside. We'll show you a little bit more detail in a second. But any Extreme Series hoop will come down to 6'8". Right here. And then the Signature Series, which is the premium version of Goal Center, will actually come all the way down to six foot. So your adjustability options on basketball hoops are going to be seven and a half gorilla or six eight and six foot for your goal setters. Great. So your next variation after once you decide on adjustability and how that important how important that is to you, the next really decision you're going to have to make is backboard size. So within any industry, there's really three standard backboard widths, not diagonals, but widths. There's 54 inch wides, there's 60 inch wides, and there's regulation 72. Oh, by the way, Goal Center does offer a 48 inch, inch backboard. So when we walk over here, we see this is the gorilla display. So we have 54 inch wide. Here's our 60 inch wide, and 60 is probably the most popular width we sell, regardless of brand. For every 10 hoops we sell, probably six or 60s, three or three and a half are gonna be 54s, and then there's the Mac Daddy 72 inch regulation hoop for those people who want to go all the way. So why not, right? So your decision again, adjustability, size of backboard, brands, etc., etc. We professionally install, everybody works for us. Installation is a two day process. Day one, I lovingly say, is anchor hole concrete. We take care of utility markouts for you. Basically, you provide the water to make our concrete and tell us where to put the dirt. Or that, we're gonna take care of everything. It's like that easy button. So digging the hole, setting the anchor in the concrete, boom, boom, boom. Also, depending on weather and temperatures, not only the second trip back where we assemble the pole, backboard rim, ready to play, it's generally two to seven days after the anchor day. So we take care of all that, we install year round. And so I guess we'll take a quick pause and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna tell a little bit more detail about the different, like the actual gorilla hoops versus each other, and then goal center. I'll be right back. All right, great. Well, welcome back. And just a couple more specifics about first the gorilla brand. We really care. And gorilla has a three tier level of quality. You're going to see the good, better, best. Good is going to be brands called Silverback and Goliath. And you're going to see some of those in the, in the big box stores. Uh, limited warranty, generally five to seven years. Most of them are two piece pole, which means a lot higher vibration and just really thin, thin starter hoops. We carry the GS version, which is their better, the middle version, and behind me is the CV series, which is their premium brand. You get those at all three backboard sizes. So quick comparison, for example, 
The CV60 is the premium version of a Gorilla 60 inch backboard. Backboard is 60 by 38. All CV series hoops come with edge pad and pull pad included in that price. And again, like all Gorillas, uh, adjustability is regulation down to seven and a half feet. All CV series premium versions have 11 gauge steel. It's a little thicker steel. And if you walk back here, and we're gonna look at the GS. So step down to the middle version of Gorilla, your GS 60, still 60 inch wide backboard, but only 36 inches high versus 38. GS series does not come with edge pad or pole pad. You could always add that a la carte. And it's gonna be 16 gauge steel. So normally you're gonna see about a $300 price point difference between the GS versus the CV in the same size backboard. Oh, one other thing. Two and a half foot overhang versus three foot overhang. So those, some of those variables are why the price point. So less glass, no pads, shorter overhang, thinner steel. Still a really great hoop, still a single piece pole, still has a lifetime warranty. So that's really the difference between the CV series and the GS series. We're gonna take a look over here at the goal setters real quick and tell you a couple little more nuances about the two styles. All right, so great, Goal Setter again, made in America, Iowa, Iowa, USA, the heart of America. So Goal Setter has two pole designs. One here on my left, this is called the Extreme Series. I think of Extreme, external piston, designed a lot like a Gorilla. Uh, again, Extreme Series, any style version of the Extreme Series could come down to 6'8", we all go to regulation. Um, on my right then is the Signature Series, that's the premium version of Goal Setter. A couple differences in the nuances between the two pole designs you're going to see is you have a little bit of an offset pole design that allows the piston to be put inside the pole, maybe a little sleeker look, and that engineering then allows that to come down to six foot versus six eight. So extreme series six eight external pole, uh, signature series six foot internal pole, a little sleeker look. As far as other things in the pole design, I'm going to say as the backboard gets bigger, gets heavier. Generally, the pole is going to get bigger in dimension to carry the weight of the glass. So goal setter, either style, they have a 4x4 pole, which can carry either a 48 or a 54 inch backboard, and has a 2.5 foot overhang. Again, overhang is distance from pole to backboard. When you go up to a 5x5 pole, you can either, either signature or, or extreme series, 5x5 pole can carry a 54 or a 60 inch backboard and has a 3 foot overhang. And then finally, the 6x6 pole system Regulation four foot overhang can carry either a 60 inch backboard or a 72 inch backboard. So that's goal setter, made in America. Again, lifetime warranty on the pole in the backboard. We install. And again, um, thanks for watching us and come on up to any of our stores. I uh, look forward to meeting you here and again, helping you with your hoop purchase.